We want to bring in President and CEO of the NAACP, Cornell William Brooks. Mr. Brooks, good to have you on the program. Good to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Your reaction to President Obama and Donald Trump? Well, I'd simply know this, that at a moment of crisis, at a moment where there's a chasm of race and distrust in this country, it calls for seriousness and a hopefulness. That is to say, it's not enough to talk about law and order in broad generalities, but rather we need to speak to the concerns of both police officers on the beat and protesters in the street, both of whom, in many instances, are calling for the same thing, community policing, policing that ensures that people are protected and respected simultaneously, uh, policing that promises to deliver uh, safe streets, but also streets in which people are able to recreate, able to work, able to carry on their lives as citizens of this republic uh, and not be fearful of those in blue. Yeah. That's not an unreasonable request and is a request uh, and a demand, if you will, that reflects the sensibilities of our republic. Yeah, I mean, such a sensitive moment in time. Uh, President Obama has said a lot about this subject. Right. We're all looking for leadership. Has President Obama done enough to protect both sides? Well, let me note this. I spent four and a half hours in the White House with the President only a few weeks ago in the wake of these police tragedies, talking very specifically about what can be done on the part of police officers, protesters in the streets, uh, communities, families, governors, uh, prosecutors. On the other hand, we've, had, we've heard from Mr. Trump uh, vague generalities uh, with respect to law and order. It's time to get serious and speak very specifically about what needs to be done, which is why the NAACP called on all the presidential candidates to take what we call our Protect and Preserve Our Lives pledge, yeah. which is a pledge to deliver within the first 100 days of taking office certain reforms in terms of policing. What kind of reforms do you want to say? Very, very specifically. Collecting the data, knowing how bad the problem is, ensuring that the Justice, Depart Justice Department has sufficient prosecutorial tools in terms of subpoena power, uh, and also that we don't subsidize police departments that engage in discrimination. In other words, defund them. Uh, and then using... Show the that there are ramifications. That's right. Yeah. In other yeah. words, police officers bring down crime by holding people accountable. We ensure integrity in policing when we hold police officers accountable. Now, of course, Baltimore State Attorney uh, Marilyn Mosby announcing that the charges against the three remaining officers involved in the death yes. of Freddie Gray have been dropped. The decision coming after the first three trials ended with no convictions. Freddie Gray's death becoming a symbol of the black community's mistrust of police. Yes. Um, your thoughts? Well, we, gotta be, we have to be clear about this. A prosecutorial decision based on the probability of a conviction does not speak to the possibilities of reform in law enforcement. So all of last year, 950 people lost their lives at the hands of the police. Twelve police officers were charged in fatal shootings, zero convictions. It's tough to bring a police officer um, to heel, if you will, in terms of a conviction if there is an unlawful shooting. What we can do is do what has been done to, to a large degree in Dallas and in Cincinnati and other cities, turn around police departments, hold them accountable, and bring about reform. It's being done in this country, and we can do more of it. Um, Michael Jordan has spoken out about race relations and war on police. He hadn't in the past. Uh, what are your thoughts on what you're hearing from him and other people who have tried to put their comments there? Well, Michael Jordan understands what many citizens of this country understand, both emotionally and empirically. When a young black man is seven times more likely to lose his life at the hands of the police, yeah. we've got a real problem. Mr. And Brooks, we can do something about it. Mr. Brooks, thank you for being here. Thank you, Maria. We appreciate it very much. Cornell William Brooks will